Um, in fact, why don't we move uh, right now? Why don't we move to um, my buddy, Alex? Alex, tell everybody why we're talking about controlling the sale today. Good morning, guys. My name is Alex. I'm from Colorado as well. And I had a deal slip through my fingers. And right now I am so frustrated at where I'm at that I'm just reinventing myself, getting more firm and more assertive. So the situation was there's a gentleman in pre-foreclosure. He's a little bit older, kind of a hoarder. And, you know, we were following up with him and going and door knocking on him. And uh, I got his phone number and, of course, you know, calling him and left him voicemails. And I went to check on him last week on Friday. And he said, oh, I actually just signed with somebody else. And I said, well, how come you didn't go with us? He said, you didn't follow up with me enough. I said, I called you almost every day and left you voicemails. He said, I don't know how to check my voicemail. So I am just so frustrated because this is a huge deal. There's a lot of equity and the people who are taking over this house for him, they're not giving him any money. So all they're doing is just paying off his loan and that's pretty much it. And, you know, we want to give him some money and we're still, you know, there's a three day right of rescission. So we're thinking about going back over there. But the whole thing about all of this is controlling the sale. The reason that I didn't get it and somebody else did is because I wasn't controlling the sale. I wasn't controlling the conversation. I wasn't assertive. I was being a little bit soft, right? Go ahead, Claude. No, no, I'm agreeing with you. You said a wonderful word. You said assertiveness. Now, do most of us, when we hear the word assertiveness, do we, do we um, attribute a negative connotation to that word? Seriously. Myra, yeah, in, I, let me switch to my friend. Myra, I'm picking on you all day today. How important is assertiveness in the military? Extremely. Because? Because that, that shows uh, your soldiers that it shows them who's in charge, who's in, who's in control. Can, that, can assertiveness in the military save lives? Absolutely, yes. You can't. You can't your, your buddies, they will trust you if you're assertive. Whereas if you come off you know, not assertive, you know, they'll walk all over you. They, you give them guidance. They, they'll, they won't take it for what it is. They'll kind of like, Oh, is she, does she mean right now? Or we can do this, you know, and maybe in a week. So when you're assertive and you say, this is what I want at this time, uh, you it's a presence leadership. It shows leadership, a leadership. People die in war when it's the, you can't have a democracy on the battlefield. Can you? Mm -mm. Gee, let's take a vote if we should take that hill. That won't, that won't work in the military, will it? No. Nope. No, it won't. Thank you for your input there. I appreciate that. Alex, back to you. Um, so we got a, that word, assertiveness. I think we got to uh, talk about that for a little bit. Is it okay to be assertive in sales? I even, um, Alex, go for it. What did you learn from your, and by the way, thank you. Um, I really appreciate you being so transparent so honest about you you know we don't talk about our failures and our setbacks but i most successful people i know have had a lot of failures i've had setbacks and failures but can, do we have the resilience to learn from them and come back mm -hmm. yeah absolutely you need to because i mean having the lack of assertiveness yeah that messed up my whole last week lost some sleep but it's a new week it's a new day we can reinvent ourselves and that's why we jump on these calls and we do what we do and that's why we're going to learn how to control the sale. Yeah, absolutely. So you had, uh, so let's, let's go back to the basics here. Who should, okay. should, a, should a salesman be controlling or in control of the whole process? And can they do it delicately? So it doesn't seem, nobody likes a bossy, overbearing, manipulative type personality. Okay, let's just, let's just take that for granted. But sometimes do we like an authority figure? Do we want somebody who we believe has our best interest at heart? Do we want somebody when we have a problem or a pain or an issue? Do we want somebody to be professional and assertive? I notice I use the two words together. Do we want those two together? Yes, I, th I think we do, definitely. We want to have someone who's actually confident and then asking those right questions, find out where the people are at. And I think, Alex, for you, I would have probably ask a little bit more questions to find out how do you actually want me to respond to you. Sometimes once you ask those questions and listen to them, you're confident, you're assertive, and you're authentic. I think the key word is authentic. When you're authentic, people know that. They pick up on that on the phone. You know? um, so my suggestion is yes, confidence, assertive, but asking those right questions. 
to find out what that need and pain is and ask them in regards to about how do you get a hold of them. Maybe that would have been a nice thing. How can I get a hold of you a little bit easier? What's the best way to get a hold of you? So, yeah, ask the question. Yeah. What do I got there? Oh, Thanks, Steve. Go ahead, Alex. No, I, I, I agree. Some of those, 